Hi, my name is Brandon Carlson Varn, and today I'm doing a recording for Week 4 Assignment Research. Uh, we are told to research a, a front-end framework other than AngularJS. We need to have, we need to basically just say, I think, what it, what it does. So what I chose to do was Backbone. Um, .js. Backbone.js is a lot like AngularJS. It's really uh, a cool thing you can use. They use their data as models, which can be created, validated, destroyed, and saved to a server. Now, I know we haven't learned much about the server-side kind of stuff, but I think that's going to be a big deal uh, later down the road, especially when you're going to be taking credit card data, stuff like that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of personal information going around, and this is probably one of the greatest, greatest ways of handling it. Um, uh, another good aspect of it is, you know, instead of you having to always type things to the DOM directly, this kind of takes care of a lot of that stuff that's going on in, on the back end. A lot of times, I guess what happens, because I haven't really experienced it myself, but a lot of times what happens is you will end up with a lot of calls to to the DOM to change things out with selectors and whatnot. It just gets really, really too big of a file, you know I mean? It's too much to really go back in and kind of troubleshoot if you have to change something. So what the backbone does is it really helps out with that. It, it kind of simplifies everything. It's, you know, it's really great to use jQuery, AngularJS, all that stuff. It's just really, just really a simplifi simplification of JavaScript for us. Um, Um, I think that's about it. You know, they do things like extend, constructor, get, set, escape, has, unset, clear, ID, ID, attribute, attributes, change, defaults, uh, sync, fetch. And so basically that's everything that you'd want any of the other, you know, backbones kind of do. That, the same things that they do. They have a lot of examples that you can run. Uh, they have a lot of different things. A lot of times you'll find frameworks and, you know, they don't give very good examples, but backbone actually gives really great ones. And you can actually look really deeply into it through the Wikipedia page as well. Um, I think that's about it. That's my research, and I hope that's it. Thank you very much. Bye.